We've been talking about fruitfulness, and we started by talking about the fact that God has made the earth a fruitful place. Wherever we are, we can be fruitful. Then we talked about the fact that God has placed within us something which we call the seed or the potential to be fruitful. So now we're taking it from there to talk about what kind of fruit to produce. Genesis chapter 1, verse 24. Then God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its kind, cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth, each according to its kind, and it was so. Our minds produce ideas, our hands manufacture uh, things, and our lips produce words, and our spirits produce morality and ethical behavior. These are some of the things we can be fruitful in, to be productive in. But in our passage today, it says that everything produces after its kind. So if God places a seed within us, what kind will it produce? When a farmer wants to grow a farm, he plants a seed to produce a crop. So if the farmer wants to cultivate corn, he plants corn seed. Why? Because the corn seed will produce the corn fruit. Everything produces after its kind. So the whole idea is that when God gives you something from within, the potential, what we call the seed, it will only produce after its kind. So for example, if somebody wants to produce music, what seed must they sow? Of course, they can't sow corn or apple seeds. That will give them apples. They have to produce out of something within them that is musical. That is the musical gift that God has given to them or the musical seed or the musical potential that is within them. So we produce after our kind. For a person to be a doctor, the seed of a doctor must be in them. The person to be a nurse, the seed of a nurse must be in them. The person to be uh, a, a pastor, the seed must be there. Usually we call the seed a calling, a calling or a gifting or a talent, or an ability. However we call it, we mean that the person has the potential to become it. If a pastor has a calling, is the potential to be a pastor. If a nurse has a calling, is the potential to be a nurse. So everything produces after its kind. So God has given to us, each one of us, something within us. What he has planted within us will produce after its kind. The problem is sometimes we have something within us, but we want to produce what somebody else is producing, producing their kind, uh, and we don't have the seed for it. So our life becomes a meaningless pursuit, trying to mimic people, imitate people. God has created us in such a way that each one of us can excel somewhere. We may not all excel equally in the same field, but each one has a place of excellence that they must pursue. It's great to go to school and learn something. It gives you training. But it's better that your training is in line with your potential. Because when you do that, then you become fruitful. The seed God has given to you and your training are all in agreement. And don't be discouraged. I know some, sometimes people say, that, then what if I, I train for the wrong thing? Most times, we don't end up in the wrong way. And the reason is, the seed that God has given to you, what the calling he has placed on you, whether in whatever field, is so strong that it drives you without you knowing. So it leads you, so uh, you find that your aptitude, your, your thoughts, your thought pattern, the things that you have passion for, the things that you gravitate towards, all of it leads you one way or the other to land at the place God has called you to be. Except if someone deliberately interferes in your development process and misguides you, then you may end up doing something differently. But most of the time, just going with what they say, going with the flow, you may end up uh, doing what God has called you to be. So, 
The earth is a fruitful place. God has given us the potential, the seed, and whatever God has put within us can produce what it is designed to produce. It will produce after its kind. So don't be afraid about whether your life can be fruitful or not. It will be fruitful because God has invested so much in you. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, help me fulfill the assignment for which you created me. I want to be the best for you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Yes, God wants you to be the best and you will be. And Pastor Mesa Otabel, shalom, peace and life to you.